I think many parents hear uh, the, that their children may be asked about substances at age 11 uh, and they get worried about it. Um, perhaps they try to prevent their children from hearing about things like this and they're worried that we're going to expose them to it. But we know that uh, substance abuse is real, um, that the lifelong implication of substance abuse is uh, devastating for a lot of uh, adults and that children begin to use substances earlier and earlier. There's a large increase in use between 8th and 10th grade, so if we can get to kids early before they've developed a problem, we can prevent the lifelong implications of substance abuse. I have a lot of parents ask me, um, what can I do to prevent that or to help my children do better? Uh, and I think that there's pretty clear evidence to show that uh, supervision is a good way to prevent uh, substance abuse problems. Knowing your children's friends, knowing where your children go, and if they don't go where they say they're going to go, uh, doing more investigation. There are some other things uh, that can be useful, including keeping track of medications in the house. Um, since even though it may not be your children getting into trouble, other children could be getting into trouble in your house, um, keeping them locked up and safe. And if medicines start disappearing, to ask questions. And ask your children what's going on in their lives about substances. Um, and you're not going to put the idea in their head by saying things. So asking what's going on when you're with your friends, are friends or acquaintances using substances, and uh, seeing if they need help thinking about how to deal with their friends and family. Whenever your child has a change in either their academic performance or their behavior from the way that they've been their entire lives, that's an opportunity for you to try to figure out what's going on and to help them move forward. Uh, many changes in behavior can be driven by just things going on in their lives, um, or it could be driven by things such as a behavioral health problem or substance abuse. Uh, by taking your child to see a behavioral health counselor, they can do an evaluation um, and help you determine whether or not there's a behavioral health problem or a substance abuse problem that needs to be addressed. Uh, one of the goals of our program actually is to help our therapists feel empowered so that they can do those full evaluations and identify kids early as they begin to use substances.